June 7th, 2019. Well, I've done another upgrade to the ram pump system. I've added some more ram or random access memory to the ram system. Well, okay. It's not ram, but it's a uh, water buffer, water reservoir. I moved the 275 gallon tote in the greenhouse for thermal mass out since we don't need thermal mass this time of year and I've added it to the RAM reservoir system uh, at about the same elevation as the two barrels in the top of the barn I think it's a hair lower we'll find out when it fills up it's just filling now but I'll take you over there and show you what I did quick so here we are I plumbed in uh, two inch off of the valve off the bottom and then uh, reduced down to three quarter inch and plugged in our ram feed line the ram feed line comes up from the pond from that way by the beehives here runs across and goes up to the top of the barn and fills those barrels then the overflow goes off to the pool and keeps the pool full so we have uh, 100 gallons in the top of the barn roughly 110 and uh, about 4,400 gallons in the pool and now we'll have another 275 gallons at about the same height above the ground which gives us decent pressure as the barrels uh, and so uh, it's filling now I finally just got it leveled up uh, a little bit ago or relatively well leveled up uh, the water line is about at the bottom here it's the bottom fifth or so and uh, it's gonna be a while filling we're only moving about 0.77 gallons a minute or so um, and I guess I'll show you the overflow setup on top so I took the lid off of this and took a hole saw and got a, a two inch clean out plug took the clean out plug out and used that as a an adapter that way I would have a uh, kind of a sleeve piece that fits down into here epoxied it on with 2500 psi epoxy and uh, the reason I chose two inches because I plan when this goes back in the greenhouse to put in a two inch uh, convective uh, thermosiphon plenum coming off of the stove we'll get to that another time uh, so in the meantime I just put in two inch connectors and reduced down to three quarter uh, I do have a piece of half half inch or three quarter PVC I think it's half inch and uh, so once this gets full and we figure out where the level is as it corresponds to the barn uh, our barrels are about at the top of that bottom metal roof right about there elevation wise and so we're pretty close in elevation I think this tank is a little bit lower than those um, but again we'll find out uh, once we figure that out I'll cut a piece of pipe that extends up and above that so that our overflow goes into the pool like it's supposed to um, but anyway uh, real simple and uh, a good way to use these uh, tanks multi-purpose I'd love to have about 20 more of these tanks um, but they're expensive at least for me uh, I think this tank was like 140 bucks or something which isn't bad for what it is but uh, I don't have the money to go buy in a bunch of them and so I figure well it's not being used for one thing it can be used for another so in the fall I'll just drain it pull it back in the greenhouse set it back up fortunately they're pretty light I think there may be I don't know there may be like 80 pounds empty if that so I can uh, move it around pretty easily anyway uh, just wanted to show a quick update uh, I've added a little more space to the reservoir this brings us to that tank is a 275 the two barrels in there are 55 each that makes for 110 so 275 375 385 we're just under 400 gallons uh, at the high elevation which is excellent for uh, watering and, and good water flow gives us decent pressure uh, on you know for using a hose or uh, or any of that kind of stuff anyway just thought I would do a quick update on the ram pump hope you found this interesting don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching the pharmacy seeds network